Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. Up in high kicks, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, it's over. most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. The king! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 242 pounds, fighting out of New York. Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your So two truly elite strikers here. We sat down with them on Thursday and asked them, any thoughts of taking this fight to the ground? They want to strike. Today. They want to strike. That's what got them to the show. That is the path that they are normally on. And tonight they get someone that allows them to fight in their comfort zone. They don't have to worry about the defending takedowns. All they have to worry about is who can rely on their knowledge in the striking to carry them to victory. Big ball what's land. Now we get back to range. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Oh, he got absolutely bludgeoned. That's as good a combination as we have seen out of him here tonight. The last time I saw a combination this good, it was Donald Cerrone beating up on Rick Store. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. That right hand. Hey, he's off balance. Take him down. Head nice down. punch here. Trying to kick. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Oh, nice right hand coming. Just misses with the left hook. Button. I mean, over and over, he is taking these strikes to the head. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. All right, single collar tie now. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, big left hand there. Takedown defense holds up. Trying to inflict some damage here, but misses with the kick. That knee, that knee hurt him. Ah, oh, that jab hurt him. He went high on that one. Both guys landing in a pretty decent clip. Nice kick. Oh, nice right hand. He is throwing a fast, straight, hard jab. That's not a feeler jab. That's one that's really knocking the head back. Connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. 
I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Finished with that attempt. Real sneak body kick. Single collar tie now. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood. Like Superman punch now. Out of range with that one. Looks like he clipped him with a left hand counter there. Another punch position. Oh, well done moving the head there to slip that left hand. Oh, nice kick right there. Tell the masses how how good that feels to get kicked like that. John, it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't feel good to get kicked like that. There's no give on that leg kick. Big punch man over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, nice. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. There he goes, working off that jab again. How's your jab? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab. But you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. The most thrown punch, and the first one you learn is a jab. Right. And in MMA, guys are starting to take that same approach because it is such an effective weapon. Great punch. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Big right hook coming, it's blocked. Are there any guys, thank you. Awesome. Right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. All right, here we go with round two. Round one, pretty good, not great, but some action on both sides. We can't always hope for fireworks, John. Yeah. Sometimes you gotta deal with the ebbs and flows of a fight. In round number one, you saw both guys have success. Let's see who really charges out ahead in the second round. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Ooh, what a head kick. Nice kick. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His that one appeared to stun him. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh! So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Single collar tie there. Look at the whip action that comes to him throwing that kick. Oh, tags him with the left. That is an educated left hand. Educated left hand. He's throwing it so fast, so crisp. Oh, nice jab. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Oh, big knee! to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. All right, so both fighters now sort of struggling for position here in the clinch. When you find yourself in this situation, what do you do to get out of it? Anytime it's very tough. Anytime you're chest to chest and you have nowhere to go, I think to myself, underhook. Whoever's winning the underhook is winning the clinch battle. Yeah, it looks a little wobbly on his feet. 
start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Continues to work the body here. And they separate. Nice strike. Oh, collar tie. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round he has found the rhythm and found his striking range scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two all right lands a kick there pretty well done really good accuracy landing that kick oh beautiful head movement slips there Visibly limping here. Nice leg kick. Beautiful punch. So the round is over, but not before damage was done. Cut on the cheek, sustained in that round. Cut man in there quickly as usual to try to seal it up. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed, that put him on wobbly legs, and then survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. All right, so back-to-back -back entertaining rounds. We'll see how it goes in this round. We'll see which corner sort of maximize those 60 seconds on the screen. This is what happens. Very skilled, very easy match fighters coming together. Nobody has really taken a lead in this fight. Let's see who does it for this connection. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his home. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Nice straight punch. Oh, nice knee to the body for him there. Very nice. Oh, he's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, look at that. Left up and landed the diving punch to the head. Recovery, man. Right back to his feet. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Nice move.
misses again with a right punch. Oh, big knee! Diving punch lands. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Keep it busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Pretty significant well to the left side. Working inside the now open guard of his opponent. Uh oh. Throwing up a triangle. The guy on his back is very good at submissions, and if he's not careful here, he's going to get stuck and he will have to submit. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, and he lands another punch there, and you can tell at this point he is going right at that cut on his opponent. Right at the cut on the eye, just making sure he knows that I'm going to be targeting it. Keep your hands up, and when the hands go up, he will then change the target down low, trying to find finishes. Another beautiful strike to the body, really starting to connect at will when it comes to work in the body, and especially effective doing it later in this fight. Didn't see a lot of that from him in the earlier rounds. Oh, it's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was going to be kick heavy tonight, and that is certainly a step in the right direction. He is landing that strike very effective with it. Caught that. No, there's danger in that too. When you start reaching on to catch that kick, here comes the high kick, and then you're in a lot of trouble. Ooh, what a punch. Clinch now. Whoa! Lunges forward with a left there. He's out! He got him! A near perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week, played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. All right, DC, no telestrator tonight, but we're gonna get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance today. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moments, you gotta show up, and that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At four minutes, one second of the third round, playing the winner by Knockout Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, you also most times walk away with a $50,000 bonus check.